How's it going? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joshua. That's my real name. Name of the channel, Illuminati 21. The whole Illuminati thing, I'm not a I'm not a conspiracy. The fuck is it? Conspiracy theorists. I do believe the rich do kind of control what's, what's going on and then uh, I believe cheap food and our water potentially kills us, but I'm not like Tupac still alive. I'm not that guy. I mean, the whole Illuminati thing came from my rap moniker, my MC, my artist name is Ill, one I, two L's. I like spelling it out like that just for the stupid people. Like, yo, L. Like the letter L. It's like, yo, Ill, like the fucking fish that's supposed to shock you. Like, so I gotta s spell it out for the fucking idiots. The Illuminati thing is just, I happen to make an Instagram name and that's what was hot at the time. That was everything. Everybody was in the Illuminati, blah, fingers over the eye. So I kind of, I kind of did it a few times. I like threw a picture up there for the hell of it. And uh, it's kind of a play on words. That's why it's I-L-L, -L, it's capital. It'll, uh, it's an acronym that stands for Intelligent Living Life, just in case you care. You might not care. If, if you don't care, I don't care. It's one o'clock in the morning and it's hot. I don't know how many degrees it is, but I'm sweating. Let's get to the point. I'm trying to make this real short, real simple, real sweet. Will smoking weed or not smoking weed, I should say, make you a more successful person? I don't know. Smoke weed continually since the time I started smoking weed. Uh, kids uh, under 18 are watching this. Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. Drugs are real bad. So I smoked weed my whole entire dog life. At many jobs, continuous job. Time to work three, four years straight. I worked three years, I didn't miss a day. I mean, I wasn't wearing a suit and tie, but I was working in an environment where you're definitely not allowed to smoke weed. You don't run around telling people you smoke weed. I mean, even though I've been living in Colorado for over a decade now, it's the weed capital. I was gonna stop smoking weed. I figured uh, it would be hard, maybe. I used to hate cigarettes, and for some reason I started smoking them. And then uh, I smoked, and then I quit, and then I stopped calling it quitting because I would probably start back after like three, four months. So I used to call it taking break. Sad story is I went to jail, boom, got handcuffed. Yeah, I'm not a criminal, guys. I'm really not a criminal. Uh, it was for driving without a license. And then since uh, I'm not a real big fan of going to court, uh, I missed a few court dates, posted a few bails, and the judge was like, uh, you know, third or fourth time, you're not posting bail this time. So he sent me with a crazy big, it wasn't crazy big, like $25,000. Over 10% of that wouldn't have been the hardest thing in the world, but I wasn't a homeowner. Yeah, that kind of made me want to be a homeowner after that. I'm like, hmm, if I went home, I can sign my own home out to get out of jail. It's kind of a messed up reasoning for wanting to buy a house, but hey. That was one of my reasons. So the plan was to quit smoking weed, which I'm going to do. Clearly, uh, I have this little blunt in my hand, so uh, that hasn't started yet. It's going to start here soon. The plan is to stop smoking weed for a year. I came up with this genius idea maybe two hours ago to, to turn this experiment to a six-month experiment. So I can get high faster, but I figured I can go a year without smoking. I mean, I went three months uh, in a county jail without smoking weed. And the first thing I wanted to do was uh, smoke a blunt when I got out. I'm going to Tyavis, and I'm not, you're probably wondering, like, what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, what I plan on doing in the meantime is just try, try to be successful. I mean, it's not that this whole time getting high every day. I haven't been trying to be successful. It just hasn't happened. So with that being said, how we're going to gauge the success or how we're going to gauge the process, whether or not it works, is uh, just to see within this year if I achieve my goals. I had a big ass list of goals that I wanted to achieve. I was going to... How you guys like my, my keyboard stand? It's a... Uh, a couple cardboard boxes. I know it's making my whole set look a little 
little hood. I got this keyboard like three weeks ago. Uh, it didn't come with a stand and happened to have some cardboard boxes laying around. There's my stand. Oh, uh, anyway, short attention span. Let's get back up. Uh, Trying to keep this short. Besides trying to achieve my goals, I'm going to be making YouTube videos. Should have been on this YouTube thing. I, I record or have recorded videos. I just never post them to YouTube. I just record videos of me doing work on my car. One of the many unfinished projects that was, was me. I had a box Chevy, an 85 Chevy Capri. That thing was a fixer upper, so I had a whole bunch of dents in there that I was bondoing and sanding down paper because I was planning on them. Painting it, doing 26s on it, it's the dopest car you ever seen in the world. And uh, I don't know if I got a picture of it somewhere, I might throw that thing up there. I love that car, but that's one project I never finished. I have a list of projects or businesses and things that I've started and didn't finish, to name a few. Number one, I was gonna start like a, a incense candle perfume business. Uh, I ordered a whole bunch of incense and oils and uh, I, I sold them, I made money, I profited, but uh, the plan was to add more stuff to the lineup and get a website and then eventually I wouldn't have to be out there personally selling stuff, I can just box up and make shipments, but yeah, that never worked out. Back in the day, I think uh, a little bit after high school, I wanted to customize sneakers, like paint them and airbrush them, and uh, I did a couple of my own pair. I used to get some flack about them, so I guess I wasn't doing that great of a job. iPhone repair? That's another thing. I had an iPhone that broke, I fixed it, and I'm like, hey, I can do this. I can do this for a living. Uh, the only reason I didn't do it is because I want to do that type of work for the for the pay. Like, if I'm going to fix your screen and your phone, I'd rather charge you 100 bucks. I'm gonna, but if it's people on Craigslist where I would advertise doing it for 25, I mean, it's simple economics. You got to compete with the market. I was on, I was on the eBay kick for a minute, too. Uh, and I, I kind of miss eBay, and the only reason I'm on eBay is because I shipped some packages way later than I should have, and uh, it's a long story behind that. I happened to have like five, six of them I needed to ship, and then I went out of town on vacation until family reunion, and I shipped them late, got a whole bunch of complaints, and then eBay was like, no, you can't sell stuff no more. At one point in time, I was uh, buying Xbox controllers off of Craigslist, and I was painting them and putting a, a rapid fire button in them for the Call of Duties, and I was making money doing that for a minute. It wasn't that lucrative. I mean, none of these things are million dollar business. If I would have branched more than being local, I probably could have made more coins, but hey. Another thing, I started Pitbull Kennel. That's why my uh, my email address is alliancekennels at gmail.com. Still heavy into the dogs. I just don't currently own any dogs because I live in an apartment now. Yeah, I came a long way from having a backyard and stuff. That's a whole nother story. Get back into that eventually. That, that was something I love to do because if you're gonna make if you're gonna make money, if you're gonna be successful and you wanna and you wanna be happy, you just don't wanna you just don't wanna make money and not be happy. One time I was making real decent money and I always really appear happy because I'm that glass half full type guy. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. Simple. It's simple. And I I'm not a millionaire. As we speak, I probably have a hundred ten dollars in my wallet and that's <laughs> Currently, all I have to my name. I have a couple things I've invested in. Uh, I buy and sell things. 2011 uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro. Try to sell here soon after I do some tinkering with it. That's at least 500 bucks right there. Honestly, I'm going to try to sell it for 550 Count me in. PayPal me. I'll, I'll ship it right off to you. But this uh, this 25 day water fast, I'm, I'm going to do that. And it's going to be before the whole. Uh, stop smoking weed. I don't think I can not eat and not smoke weed at the same time. That's asking too much. I mean, I heard people dying doing this, but uh, I totally believe that our food kills us. Uh, if Jesus could not eat for 40 days, I can go 25 days. I'm actually going to go 21 days because I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I mean, if you want to uh, if you want to stay updated on how my, how my stop weed smoking is going. If you want to stay updated on my fast, I'm going to do other things, maybe reviews, unboxing, tutorial. I'm a nerd, what can I say? You know, subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Uh, I try not to draw this on too long. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want me to jump off a bridge, put it in the comment section.
It's what I'm here for. I should, I should, I should have been on this a long time. I kind of wanted to be like my man Shy City, and he's been doing that 07, you know, back in the day. And he had the bubble caprice. I had the the, the box caprice. I feel like we was we, we was real we was real similar. I would really like encourage you to follow me along the way. Hopefully, I don't die 21 days with no food. I'm definitely gonna be smoking weed during the way. I don't know how that's gonna affect me. Getting the munchies and not being able to munch on that. It's gonna be harsh. But I know without eating, I'm gonna be snapping on people. Leave me alone, I'm hungry. It's ill. Illuminati 21. I was thinking about making a separate YouTube channel for my music, ill music, but uh, it's, it's probably gonna be all wrapped up in one. So this is gonna be a smorgasbord of content. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Uh, subscribe, and I'm, my, my goal is to reach a, a million subscribers. I plan on putting out decent content. Smash that subscribe button. Click that like button. Don't click that. Now nah, you click the dislike button if you want. If you hate it, you hate it. Uh, hopefully you guys made it this far. I uh, want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to bang that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure I said it once. I'll say it again. Hit that like button. Check me out. I'm going to have more content uploaded soon. You can mess with me on social media. I don't have a Facebook. Uh, long story behind that, but I do got an Instagram at uh, Illuminati21, same as my YouTube, uh, Snapchat at Illuminati21, but the end of Illuminati has two eyes in it instead of one. Uh, mess with me on Twitter, all ill 21 that's A-L-L-I-L-L-2-1. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yo. Mama, what you want? Mama, what you need? I got gold, tequila, and Denver weed. Stop messing with them dogs. We a different breed. And I'll change your life, not just fix your weed. Think about it long enough, you might switch your team. It's 2016, might sell the Audi, get a beam. I'm living life, trying to live a dream. And last night I had a dream that I copped the Celine. That's me, nigga.